Hello and welcome, dear viewers. Today we have a fascinating video that delves into the life and legacy of Moshe Dayan, one of Israel's most iconic military leaders and politicians. Join us as we explore his incredible journey, from his humble beginnings in a Zionist family to his pivotal role in shaping the nation's history. Get ready to immerse yourself in the story of a complex and resilient figure who left an indelible mark on the world. Without further ado, let's dive in. Moshe Dayan's birth on the 20th of May in 1915, transpired within the quaint kibbutz de Gania Aleph, nestled in the Ottoman Empire's Palestinian territory. As a stalwart figure in Israel's political and military arenas, Dayan's unwavering devotion to the Jewish state and tenacity to safeguard its interests emerged even amidst the crucible of personal and political hurdles. A deeply entrenched Zionist upbringing, courtesy of his pioneering parents, Shmuel and Devorah, Ukrainian emigres and trailblazers of the kibbutz movement, shaped Dayan's core beliefs. Youthful vigor saw him enlist in the Haganah, an underground Jewish defense faction that ultimately formed the Israeli Defense Forces backbone. Fate struck a devastating blow in 1939. Amidst the Arab revolt, a sniper's bullet robbed Dayan of his left eye's vision. Nevertheless, the ensuing eye patch symbolized his unyielding spirit. Unfazed, Dayan fought alongside the British Army during World War II, combating the Vichy French in Lebanon and Syria. The momentous 1948 Declaration of Israeli Independence thrust Dayan into the War of Independence's crucible. As the Jerusalem Front's commander, he orchestrated the city's defense and subsequently helmed the IDF's Southern Command during the 1956 Sinai Campaign against Egypt. A promotion to Chief of Staff in 1953 enabled Dayan to mold the IDF into an indomitable force. Dayan's foray into politics occurred in 1959, his allegiances spanning multiple parties, such as the Labour Party and the Rafi Party, the latter co-founded alongside David Ben-Gurion. Pragmatism and steely resolve in matters of national security defined Dayan's political career. Agriculture Minister under Prime Minister Levi Eshkol in 1964, Dayan later ascended to defense minister in 1967. His pivotal leadership during the Six-Day War cemented Israel's resounding victory, seizing the Sinai Peninsula, the West Bank, and the Golan Heights. Yet, controversy marred his tenure. Domestic and international criticism targeted his policies in occupied territories and settled establishments. Furthermore, the ill-prepared defense against Egypt and Syria's surprise attack during the 1973 Yom Kippur War tarnished Dayan's reputation culminating in his 1974 resignation. Redemption beckoned in 1977 when Dayan joined Menachem, begins Likud government as foreign affairs minister. His instrumental involvement in the Camp David Accords bore fruit, the momentous 1979 peace treaty between Israel and Egypt. October 16, 1981, marked Dayan's departure from this world, his legacy as a political and military titan living on. Despite a career mired in controversy, Dayan's unwavering commitment to the Jewish state and his tenacious spirit render him an indelible figure in Israel's rich tapestry of history. Thank you for watching this captivating account of Moshe Dayan's life and accomplishments. We hope you found it enlightening and that it provided a deeper understanding of the man behind the eye patch. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with others who might be interested. Be sure to subscribe for more engaging content like this and feel free to leave your thoughts or questions in the comments section below. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.